Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the players just had a, a great 48 hours here after the Jacksonville game. It's tough to come back from a win like that and and to you know gather the confidence. Obviously, we want them to have that, but we also want them to come out and, and, and redo the effort. And that's what we talked about pregame, about having that same energy level and that effort throughout a match. And, uh, and we went wire to wire. I mean, we scored early, and then obviously we scored with you know no time left to, to win 7 nothing. But credit to our defenders. I mean, again, solid. I think we allowed two shots on goal, which is great, and, and, and no goals against, which is very important. It's great to score seven goals, obviously, but to come out of this game with another shutout and to keep improving on what we're trying to do on, on, in every facet of the game was, was very good and very rewarding, I think, for the players. Um, obviously, the goal from the start of uh, every game is going to be a clean sheet for the defense, for the, for the whole team, actually. Uh, it starts with everybody from the forwards to the defenders. It's you know all, the main goal is a clean sheet because if you don't give up any goals, obviously the other team can't win. So that's the main goal, and I think throughout this preseason we've really worked hard on our defensive shape, and that has paid dividends. And you can see it in the two shutouts that we had this preseason. Definitely, definitely, a, a, you know I can feel that there's going to be a strong cohesion with the team, and uh, I think that you know we've already started to show. I mean, even from the start of preseason, all the guys are getting along, uh, and I think that will show as we uh, go further in the season. Well, I think the freshmen on the team who have come on uh, have really come in with good amount of confidence, and the guys around them have done a good job of making them feel like they're a part of the team, and that showed tonight when three freshmen got their first uh, goal as a UCF. I mean, even though it's preseason, you get your first goal at UCF, it's a memorable moment. So I think. It's really important for them going on in the season to, to build the confidence and maintain that confidence. So it's really nice to see. Yeah, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, that's a credit to the players. I mean, we don't want to take any opponent weak. I mean, I know the game was 7 nothing, but Tampa's a good team. And we had to come in here and, and be ready and be professional about the match and, and treat them as if they're the number one team in the country. And that's a mentality we're trying to hit home with these players is, is have an effort like that all the time and uh, not just take care of top 25 opponents but take care of all your opponents and at the end of the day it comes down to effort and a process and believing in that and then hopefully things fall your way which they did tonight well everybody i mean it starts in the back when we're building and and, and matthias is finding play himself in the right position but that's because everybody's doing their part and again something else that we've been trying to hammer home to them in fact th this morning in our in our pre-game talk that's exactly what we went through it was like just execute your role you know, don't worry about anybody else's. Know people's roles, but know your, most importantly, know your own role. And, and Matias is certainly doing that, and, and we're obviously pleased that he got on the board again tonight. But as a whole, the group is doing well. Yeah, college soccer, you're going to rely on your subs because at the end of the day, it's a long season. Injuries happen. You're playing two games in 48 hours. You're playing three games in, or two games in 72 hours. So you've got to be ready, and you've got to have guys that can step up. So what I saw tonight is the guys that came in, they played with confidence. And, and they executed, and at the end of the day, we got a few more goals from them. But again, they kept the shutout. They came. They kept that same level of intensity that our starting eleven had. You just got to keep fine tuning. I mean, it's the little details. You know, now can now we've got things down pat. We have some very good habits, but can we do things faster? Can our speed or thought be better? Can we be a little bit more consistent and not have, you know, the three to five minute dry spells where we we lose our sense a little bit and we get a little bit too direct and we have too many transitions and too many turnovers. So I think that that'll be a big point of emphasis this next week and a half because going out to Portland now, it's going to be tough. Um, two very different opponents in Portland and Oregon State, and, and we got to be ready for that. For more information on the UCF men's soccer team, follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.